Patients with advanced fibrosis should be monitored no more than every six months. Check in with the patient, see how they're doing with their lifestyle modifications, make sure if they have diabetes, that diabetes is under control. If they have not controlled diabetes, you should probably be following up even earlier, maybe every three months. It really depends on what's going on with the risk factors for the advanced fibrosis. Are there other things you need to know about fatty liver disease? The answer is yes. Uh, fatty liver disease is a manifestation of a condition we call metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is, uh, has a number of features, including a certain type of obesity, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and abnormal blood lipids, high cholesterol, low HDL, or high triglycerides. When we see a patient with NASH, we also have to realize that it's a multi-system disease. In addition to the liver problems, they are susceptible to uh, cardiovascular disease, especially strokes and heart attacks. Uh, and they are, have an increased risk of all kinds of cancers, including liver cancer. One of the important area that NAFLD is epidemic and is very costly to the healthcare system as well as to the patient's well-being. For instance, there was a publication showed that the number of NAFLD patients in 2015 in the U.S. were around 83, mil uh, 83 million. That number will increase significantly by 2030. So as the number of NASH patients, so as the number of psoriatic patients, it's expected that the number will increase from around 3 million in 2015 to 7 million psoriatics due to NASH in, in, 20, in 2030. So this phenomenon is really epidemic. In addition, hepatocellular carcinoma due to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has been increasing in incidence and prevalence around the world, which is very costly to the health system in treating it and managing it. We have published data showing that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is the most common cause of liver transplant in women these days. So liver transplant is very costly and this disease has no treatment so far. Therefore, recognizing it, stopping it, and treating the patients and avoiding progression will be timely uh, to get rid of this disease. One of the big areas in the disease is halting progression. For instance, when you arrive to F3 or uh, advanced fibrosis, it is crucial not to get the cirrhosis because cirrhosis has been shown to be the, higher risk, the highest risk of morbidity and mortality. If you can avoid that, you will avoid the high cost of liver transplant, hepatocellular carcinoma, and more importantly, you will save the patient from many life-threatening conditions. Therefore, halting advanced fibrosis and reversing it, both of them, are very much needed.